First, we're going to tape off our image. I chose a 7 inch square, the same format as the Amel Groupie painting. Next, I'll sketch in the composition very quickly with a pencil. I'm just looking for overall large shapes in darker and lighter areas. Try to place these shapes in the correct area within the picture plane. It's really important to keep referring to the picture that you're copying. That's where you're getting all your information from. It's important to double check to make sure that that looks like that. Now we're ready for paint. You'll need white, black, a container of water, some brushes, a paper towel, and your palette. I like to use saran wrap to preserve the paint. It keeps it wet for up to a week. Don't forget your gloss medium too. First I'm going to paint in some large gray areas with a big brush. Some are lighter, some are darker. Don't be afraid to cover up some of your sketch marks. It looks pretty sloppy, but that's okay. There's time for detail later on. Now I'm going to slow down a little bit, refining some of the areas, making some parts lighter and some a little bit darker. Whenever you're ready for some detail, go ahead and switch to a smaller brush. In my final layer, I used some pure black and some pure white for really dark shadows and also for very bright highlights. It helps to make things stand out. Flat brushes are very versatile, using them for big broad brush strokes or on edge for fine detail lines. The nice thing about using acrylics is, if you make a mistake, you can just cover it up with some paint and then make your adjustments on the next layer. I like to work in layers. It took me about five layers of paint to finally complete this painting. Now that the painting is finished, it's time to remove the tape. And now our painting is finished, a black and white value study of an Amel Groupie painting. <laughs>